Guys, I want to talk about generating referrals, getting work. When work is slow, that's not the time to sit back and wait for that phone to ring. It doesn't matter whether you're a carpenter or an architect, the principles are the same. I truly believe that my existing clients are a great source of repeated work, but not necessarily a great source for referrals. And what I mean by that, let me explain that a little bit. First of all, past clients, they know you and they know your work. And you know them, we know them. And if you've done a good job, you have instant credibility. For me, the best part or the best result from my past clients is trust. My past clients will often call me and say, hey, when can you do this? Not, I need a three bid process or hours of research or typing proposals, subsequent meetings. No, just come and do it. I like that. Remember, time saved is money earned. Past clients know that you're familiar with their house, they know you're familiar with their family's lifestyle, their school and work patterns, which is a plus to them. It's a win. So do you make attempts to keep and maintain FaceTime with your clients? And what I mean by that, the difficult challenge as contractors is that our existing clients do not think about us every day. And as a result, they are not positioned as our best chance for referrals to new clients. So how can we get work from referrals? Well, the answer is FaceTime. Getting FaceTime with past customers can be accomplished in a whole bunch of ways. And I'm sure you can think of more ways that I'm gonna tell you. But the first and most easiest is to email your clients. Get in the habit of emailing your past clients at least twice a year. Create a list of emails, save them. I send out an email usually after New Year's. January through March is typically a really slow period for me. So that email usually generates some nice indoor work. Um, one email might remind the clients that they have a fall or spring maintenance coming up. The other might uh, list a past project, a recent project you might have just done, and maybe list a few services you provide. But let's talk about the best source of referrals, and that's targeting non-competing contractors. One of the best sources for referrals is other contractors in the business. The people that work and sell to the same target customer that you do. They're your non-competing subcontractors like electricians, plumbers, painters, decorators, architects, lumberyard sales reps, landscape contractors. I get more referrals from my plumber, my painter, and the lumber yard than almost any other source. And I refer them as well. It's win-win. Just as we try to attract past clients to call us back for services and refer us, we should be educating, motivating, and soliciting our fellow tradespeople. People in the non-competing businesses that we work with every single day. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this business tip. I truly believe that our subcontractors that we work with every day are our best source for referrals. Take care.